Up next, we have the scholar, the Pan-Africanist, and the father of black sociology himself, W.E.B. Du Bois. Born in 1868 in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, W.E.B. Du Bois was born to a free family and was said that he didn't experience any prejudice until he went off to college. W.E.B. Du Bois attended Fisk University for his undergraduate where he did experience prejudice for the first time. He then went off and became the first African-American to get a PhD from Harvard University, really opening the doors for black intellectuals to come on after him. Now it's hard to have a conversation about W.E.B. Du Bois without also having a conversation about his intellectual rival, Booker T. Washington. While both men are brilliant educators, while both men had very stern positions in how they felt black folks should be operating within the economy and within society, they had some different views, right? Booker T. Washington was definitely on the vocational studies and we need to focus on economics instead of social rights, while W.E.B. Du Bois was really focusing on we need to be getting education, we need to be going to the best universities, and we need all social, political, and economic rights that are afforded to Americans, period. Now, the reason that I really put W.E.B. Du Bois on the top five list is because when we think about people who are studying black life from an academic point of view, when we think of people who are creating Pan-Africanism movements, who are creating whole kind of sub majors that are now available in college, right? That kind of stems from W.E.B. Du Bois and really leading the charge when it comes to black intellectualism and when it comes to black education and studying and researching black life. Here's a quote from W.E.B. Du Bois. The problem of the 20th century is the problem of the color line. Thank you for your work. And thank you for your melanated brilliance, W.E.B.